Hi there, this is Brian Pop Robson here again, making videos for the first time in a little while. Basically to answer an idiot hoax believer who thinks that uh, there is something wrong with this uh, clip of a bag swinging on the mesa table. When in reality, what it does is prove that the bag is on the moon. Now, if you take the clip from when the bag starts swinging, until when the astronaut stands in front of it, you will see, if you can count them yourself rather than me counting them for you, there is 19 swings. The duration of them swings is 52 seconds. That gives a period of 2.74 seconds for the bag swinging. Now, a normal pendulum has a bob with a long string but in this instance because the bag is swinging in totality you can take the fact that the bag is the entire pendulum with the small little three centimeter clip at the top forming the whole pendulum from the ALSJ we can see that the actual bag is approximately 25 centimeters deep and the tag at the top is approximately three centimeters so that's by visual inspection as opposed to an actual measured amount but for the sake of this video I think that's quite accurate the other thing that is very apparent from when you watch this video is the lack of any atmosphere because the motions of the pendulum are not damped our uh, hoax believer friends come up with this stupid idea that the bag was over a vent and providing airflow and that the astronauts were actually trying to hide this fact. While we're on the subject, I'd just like to give a little shout out to Waldemar Figueroa or whatever his name is, a sock puppet uh, account that made me sit and think about this a little bit more and get me off my fat backside to actually make a video again. So, without further ado, let's get on with the maths, which Mr. Strange hates. The formula governing pendulum swings is quite simple, in that the period of the swing equals 2 pi times the square root of the length of the pendulum over the gravitational constant in metres per second per second. The gravitational constant for the Earth is 9.81, and the gravitational constant for the Moon is 1.62. From watching the video, we can see that there was 19 swings in 52 seconds, giving us a period of 2.74. You can actually time these periods yourself, but by doing an average like this, it gives you a more accurate figure. So don't take my word for it. Go back in the video, time it with a stopwatch, and count the swings yourself. All we have to do now is substitute the figures we have into the formula. So looking at the figures, if we pretend we're on the moon, we have a g of 1.62 meters per second per second, so 2 pi over the square root of 0.28 over 1.62 uh, gives us 2 pi times the square root of 0.1728389, which gives us a figure of 2 pi times 0.415739, which gives us a figure of 2.612 against a measured figure of 2.74 pretty accurate I would say if we now take the figures for the earth and so substituting 9.81 which is the gravitational constant for the earth you will see that by working it out with 2 pi times 0.18694 we have a figure of about 1.06 seconds which means that the pendulum would swing every second so we can see from this that it definitely wasn't on the earth it was on the moon so thank you, Mr. Strange, for pointing me in the direction of this video and proving categorically that man landed on the moon.